this video, I'll be showing you how to trim videos without having to re-encode them using AVID MUX or AVID EMUX. The first we're just going to open the program, just like that, and you can open it using the file menu, or you can just drag the files right onto them. So we're going to uh, cut this NKV file here. It all works with a wide variety of files, so you can use it with like MP4s, which you probably have, AVIs, etc. So first, we're just going to we can scrub through it to see the whole files, uh, the the video, and use this one to hit the start of the video. Now it's going to go slightly before, not the actual thing, uh, because it uses basically like little markers in the video for the timing. So that's the first one, and then let's say we want to end it here, so we'll click there. So this isn't going to like exactly line up with where the short line in the video is. But this is our video clip here, so it's from here to here. And without, at the moment, without changing any settings, it doesn't re encode, it'll just save the file. So if you go save as, we can go save, and it will save an MKV file. And then just like that, we have a cut version of the video right here. And by default, it will always export to MKV. Uh, but if we open it again, you can, I'll show you how to change that. So it's always going to be MKV because that's the default output, but you can change it to whatever you want. So if I want to do it as an MP4, just like that, and then go save. And then just like that, I've got a P4 version of it. So you, you can also use this to quickly convert file formats between different containers like MKV and MP4. If for whatever reason you have something that supports one and not the other. So just like that, uh, you can uh, trim the videos to whatever size you want to get rid of parts you don't want. Uh, without having to encode the whole video so you don't lose any quality and it's a lot quicker. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff you can use in this uh, program. Like, you, for example, you could ring code if you want to compress the file, and you can do all sorts of stuff. But that's it for this video. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for this video.